So the derivatives that we've been finding are what are called first derivatives. So the y prime, f prime of x using Newton's prime notation or dy dx using Leibniz notation. However, we, they, we do have second and third and fourth and other what are called higher order derivatives. Uh, so a second derivative is if I take the derivative of the first derivative. A third derivative would be if I took the derivative of the second derivative and so on. So if I have the function x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2 and I wanted the first derivative f prime of x or using Leibniz notation dy dx, I have the rules I can use now. So power rules, sum and difference rule, constant multiple rule, and the constant rule. This is the first derivative. But now if I take the derivative of this and get 6x minus 10, this is the second derivative. And the notation in prime notation is to just put another prime. And I would read that as f double prime, or I can say the second derivative. In Leibniz notation, the second derivative would be d squared y dx squared. And again, I don't need to say over. And that's my second derivative. If I now take the derivative of this and get 6, this is the third derivative, which in prime notation would be f triple prime, or just say third derivative. And in Leibniz notation, it would be d cubed y dx cubed, or, or again, just say third derivative. And if I take the derivative of this, which would be 0, this is the fourth derivative. And in Leibniz notation, it would be d to the fourth y dx to the fourth. There are two different ways I could write this in prime notation. The primes really are Roman numerals, so I could put the fourth derivative of x. Or I could also put quadruple prime of x. The quadruple prime is allowed, but kind of considered bad grammar. It's not wrong, but just it's not preferred because think about if you're talking about a tenth derivative, putting 10 primes.